Hey guys, welcome back. We're here again with another Doomer Boards project. This time we're playing a number three for swords. So, looking forward to checking this one out. As you can probably guess from the name, it is force themed. So let's check it out. Firstly, our standard way to get into co-op play. Bam, add and remove bots. We are now in co-op mode. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know why I do that, I do that in GZ Doom so that I can basically get right back in the action, not have to worry about save scum. If I die, I will be able to continue the game. Let's get out of here, actually. There we go. I could have actually probably gotten them to end fight, to be honest, but whatever. Okay. I don't like this dude. I hear an arch bio. Oh, shit. Okay, this is awkward. There's an arch vial there, and I have very bad weapons to deal with arch vials. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. Okay, I need that. I'm dying. Nice! Oh, there's a second one! You son of a bitch! Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, but they do have a rocket launcher for us. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay. Okay. Those guys are taken care of. Oh my god, what am I doing? What am I freaking doing? Holy shit. Level one with two arch vials in like the second fight. Or third fight, technically, I guess. That's a little. Uh, I think that's likely going to set the tone for what we expect. I have a feeling but this one is going to be a little bit higher in difficulty than the others. We're at about half the kills. So yeah, I suspect we're gonna be uh, a little bit harder this time around. How are my rockets? Okay, not many. I was gonna stream this last night, some things came up. So, but hey, we're here today. This, this uh, wad is eight levels long. The next one is six levels. So the next one's gonna be a shorter one. And I think the following one, I think number five is also a shorter one. Oh, is that what I think it is? It is. Come on. Oh, you fell off. Uh, should I just use a rocket? Probably not. Probably not. Whoa! What's going on over here? Oh, gross. Oh, and there's revenants. Oh, god, revenants are gonna probably pour out. Okay. You know what? I am going to rocket these guys just because I think the revenants are going to come. And I want to make sure I'm not just surrounded. You know what? Let's go up here. There's someone. Oh my god. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm so bad at dealing with revenant missiles, to be honest. Like, I see that. I see that, like, when I watched Asino play, he clearly has ways, like, movements that he un knows that he can do. He'll generally be close to a wall like this, and then just go like that, and then it's it's done. Um, just because the radius uh, of the orbit is not going to be able to go without colliding with the wall. But in practice, sometimes I just, like, I don't know. 
I, I feel like Revenant missiles, other than my own rockets, Revenant missiles are the are the things I most often hurt myself with. There we go. Okay, how's our situation? We have a fair number of rockets. We still have like 20 enemies left. Uh, we can get that. Bam. So what do we think is coming up? Huh. Okay, he dead. Oh, good God. Okay. Wait, like, oh, that goes up! Fuck, I was anticipating the trap. I thought that was gonna drop down with a with a, a trap with enemies, but it went the other way, and the trap was over here. God damn it! I got tricked. Tricks and traps. Strikes again. Okay, is there anything out here that I can? Oh, I see that there's a red key up there. Okay, let's get this. Bam. Also, what are we looking at for secrets? There's zero secrets. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Oh, so that's gonna be a jump from up there. What the fuck is that sound? Oh, is that the music? Okay, I, I was like, what the fuck kind of enemy is that? Okay, this doesn't feel forest, super forest themed yet, but I guess we're entering the forest. Oh God, what weapon do I want to use? Fuck off. There we go. Okay, we're alive. We're alive. Oh, God. My you saw my panic twitch there. Okay, bam, bam, bam. You nice try, you little jerk. We have the red key. We still have a fair number of enemies left. Wait. Okay. Those jerks are gone. We're almost there with kills. There's only one kill left. That says to me... Oh, that's a point of no return. <sighs> that says to me, likely a cyber demon. Or, or the reason why I don't think it's an arch vial is because I feel like if it were an arch vial... It, it would be in a not at a point of no return. It would be at a place where they could actually revive enemies. So I'm afraid it's a cyber demon. Oh, I got... Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's not a point of no return. Okay. <laughs> Rocket launcher. Not the weapon for that situation. That was not the play. I just... I thought it was going to be a big boy. and I And at a certain point, when it gets to like... Weapons five through seven. I <laughs> oh god, I struggle to strafe while I'm uh, while I'm actively changing weapons because I want to hit like the right key. Cause I'm a little baby doomer. There we go. Get that. Okay, I think we're good. Set on down. Level one done. Okay, it looks like we have some uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and like Predator or something. Okay. The more you know, level one done. Okay, Canyon Crawl. Okay. This feels a lot more forest like. I mean, even though there's no trees and we're in a cave, but, you know, you know how it is. Wait, why are we at a hundred? Oh, did I just, oh, I picked up health. Derp. Okay, what is the ambush here? There's a hundred foes.
I honestly prefer... I honestly prefer levels that aren't over that... Like, that far over 100 kills, to be totally honest. I'd like... I would rather, like... I don't know. I kind of like zipping... Zipping to the next... The next... Ow. The next place, you know? Because sometimes when you see yourself... Hey, how's it going? Sometimes when you see yourself in these levels that are just like hundreds of kills, you're like, okay, well, I know I'm going to sit here for 45 minutes. Okay, let's get this health. How are you doing, CJ? Is there anything down here for us? Hmm. Goodbye. How are we doing for shells? Pretty well now. You know what? Why not? We have it, right? I seen a Rachnatron over there. Boop. There we go. I did get shot. I think something's going to drop behind us. Oh, hey, jerk. Oh, my God. What are we doing? Where are we going? Well, this looks interesting. Hmm. Is that the start? Wait, what? I'm trying to figure... Like, I remember we saw these pillars. Oh, no, this is the other side. So that, that's new down there. No, ow! Okay. I'm doing pretty well. I cannot complain. Okay, let's... Let's snipe some guys. Am I getting him? I am. It's so hard. Wow. Pro strafing. It's so hard to tell if you're hitting them at a certain distance. There's one. There's two. Am I getting him? I can't tell if I'm getting him. I, I think I'm just wasting my shots. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But it's funny because chain gun is... Ooh, do I see shells down there? I do. Are there secrets? There are. Oh, this is not a damaging floor. Would you look at that? Oh, and there's a ladder. Yeah, chain gun is the best sniping weapon in this game. Well, yeah. Okay, so we now have Berserk. We're at... Under one third of the kills. Okay. I'm going so freaking like cautiously. It's ridiculous. Which way do I want to go? Go over here. I don't know if this is a damaging floor or not. Uh, I don't know how I want to deal with those guys yet. I could always just shoddy them. Okay, I got him. I feel like I should be hitting this guy. Oh, I see it. I see it. There we go. Took me a while to see. There we go. Got him. Nice. Okay. Can you guys back up a little? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's so hard to see. But the one thing I, I, I think about Doom more than so many games is it has such, like, Every enemy is so distinct. It has very, very, very good readability. Ow, you son of a bitch. Who is it? Who's shooting? Like, you can see my bullets popping on that wall way in the distance. What other games would you know that you're actually hitting them, except when they die? Okay. 
Hey! There we go. Nice. I'll pick that up. And woo! Okay. Well, that was dumb. Here we go. Goodbye. Is someone coming down to me? Bam! I'll take that. We do have Berserk, as you can see in the bottom left, our health bar has the black symbol by it. So that's always an option. I don't know what weapon I should use. What are we at for kills? 46. Okay. We're... It was actually... A pretty safe elevator. Nice. Nice. Now where's the ambush? We're halfway done. Okay. I don't like that dude. Uh, what should I use? Maybe I'll use chain gun. Chain gun is an interesting weapon. I think, I feel like chain gun is the weapon. It, it took you a long time to realize Berserk didn't run out when the screen, yeah. Oh yeah, uh, the game, that is one of the things. There's two things that this game I think does not um, visualize well. One is the Berserk effect and another is um, the inconsistency of damaging floors. Those are the two things I find annoying. Okay, I should get out of here. I almost feel like so far this level is easier than the first level. So far. But they usually place these in orders for a reason. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's going to be like a big ambush that makes this a big leap in difficulty comparatively. Yeah, chain gun's a weird one because I feel like chain gun is a weapon that can sometimes feel really good and also sometimes feel like it's a shitty, shitty weapon. Okay. He dead. There we go. That was all that trap was? Is there another trap because I... Okay, no. I'm going so cautiously. Oh, wait, what? Okay, was it just that? Did something else open up? What is that sound? Hmm. There's some trigger. Whoa, that was a close call. Holy fuck. I wish I could fight Revenants like that every fucking time. One thing I wonder is, I feel like I, I play this game to have fun, you know? I don't play, play this game to demonstrate, you know, my skill at this game. Although, obviously, when you do better, it, it is more fun. But I do wonder if I played in a, if I played in a different style, if I did not do the co-op play thing. Like, I presume that would... That would force my skill to have to go up faster. But my only problem... A big reason why I don't do that isn't just... A big issue is that I find a lot of difficulty in a lot of these games with regards to mods. And is that they kind of require a little bit of foreknowledge. Not completely. Like, a lot of it is, is learning how certain enemy setups and ambushes work. How to, you know, deal with the control of space things like that um you know just ways of movement that if if you're given really limited space what enemies to focus on how to control your movement to not get yourself cornered things like that but uh but i also find a lot of it requires you to be like okay i died on this trap i know this is gonna happen here so now i know how to deal with it
Uh, and a lot of them are assuming you're... Well, I think that, um, I mean, a, a lot of these, most wads, as far as I know, that people actually really like, are designed so that they are beatable if you start with a pistol. Oh, God. Where are they? Ow. Okay, let's switch over to this. And... And so that you can reasonably beat them in one one take, no death, if you play well enough. Okay. What are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, let's just go. Whoa, I went farther than I expected. Whoa, I got a, a moment of lag. Oh, we're back here. Okay. Do we have a key? We don't have a key, but we did pull switches and stuff. So it's probably not this way. What are we doing? Wow. 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 Where was that place I saw where there was like the jump to an area I haven't been? That was like over here, right? Yeah, it was over here. Okay. There's a teleporter there. Is there anything down there? Yeah, the other thing that's funny is I play this game with like jumps enabled, but I feel like most wads are designed with no jumps enabled. So I just like almost never use it because I don't want to actually break the intent. Well, I mean, there are ways which in which I am breaking the intent, i.e. introducing vertical aim. But the thing I feel like with vertical aim is I feel like ver having vertical aim um, I think the way I play has a, a lot of pros, but also has some cons in terms of the inherent difficulty. Is this a damaging floor? It is not. Like, I think with vertical aim, you're likely going to have... So the benefits are, one, you have better control of the vertical direction of your shots in that... Let's say an enemy is right down below me. If I didn't have vertical aim and uh, like and mouse look, the bullets travel down at like a 30 degree spread or some shit. Like there's a certain or 50 degree. There's like a maximum angle that it can go down. Whereas with me, I can just take care of that guy. I can take care of a guy like up really high. And it's um That's an easier thing for me to do. The other thing I can do is I don't have infinitely tall monsters. So one, I get trapped less by enemies in certain situations. And additionally. Let's say there's caco demons behind, or, or whatever. Let's say there's caco demons in front of me, and then behind them is an arch vial. I can shoot rockets under the caco demon and hit the arch vial. Like there's things like that that are advantage. Downside is clearly you're dealing with another degree, you know, angle of aim, and I think that that means that um, there becomes an accuracy. There, there becomes another component to accuracy, which you know, in ammo starving maps can actually be a detriment. Although, you'll also waste ammo sometimes with the vertical auto-aim. Like, you know, and I, I don't have to worry... With the vertical auto-aim, I don't have to worry about, like, shooting a rocket and then it just traveling down by itself and hitting the floor there and killing me. But I do a good enough job at killing myself with my rockets anyways, so... I don't need the game's help. But yeah, I, I don't really view that as, like, cheating because there's, like, a... Well, firstly, who cares? Like, it's play how you want to play. But secondly... Um, there's both, like, a give and take to it. Okay, where are we going? Going up there. Oh. Clearly, I go through here. Oh, look where we are. Look where we are. Look. Where. We are. Okay. Oh, you sons of bitches. Ah! Oh, shit. I'm out of that ammo. Hey, you know what? Fuck it. Ow! Ow! Okay, let's get that berserk. 
Okay, come on, guys. Come get me. Come on. Come on. Uh, okay, you feel like not having uh, vertical aiming was a limitation of programming? Um, I agree and disagree. Um, I do think that it didn't have vertical aiming because it was a limitation, but I think uh, they designed the game around that limitation. So, like, I think if, if those limitations didn't exist, I don't think it would have been designed like that. But... You know. There we go. Okay. Why is this opened up again? Why does... Why? Why? Why is this opened up another path again? Has something changed over here? Oh, it has. Oh, it has. Hello! Hey, don't call out dad like that, Pickle. Are we done? We're done. I actually think that that might have been easier than the first level. It was clearly way bigger. But at the first level, I think, had a scarier fight. Okay, where are we? 74. This has fewer enemies. But the amount of enemies doesn't inherently say anything about difficulty. Doesn't it? What is this music? What the fuck is this music? Goodbye. This is like such a, like... I feel like we're about to play a dating sim. Oh, hey, Kyoko. What are you up today? to today? Oh, no. We have to go to... We're, you're going to be late for club. This is straight up... That doo -doo 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 is straight up Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm telling you. Okay, Doomer Boards Project. So, there's a forum called the Doomer Boards that I believe was actually like... I think there were people that were part of Doom World and... I think people got, like, banned from Doom World and they created a sub-community. I think that's how it originated. I could be wrong. But, if I'm wrong, I apologize, Doomer Boards. Yeah, exa exactly, CJ. And what they have done is... They created an idea in 2018 where someone would become a project lead and, uh, at the beginning of a month, they would release, like, a... a theme... A texture pack, a midi pack, and... Ah! I'm about to die! I died! And then, at the end of the month, the there would be a collaborative effort within that forum to release a mod within that theme. And so, this is the third one I've done. There's currently, I think there's 54 or 55 out. Last I checked, there were 54, but, you know, we're going through December. I presume, I presume we're at 54. They range in themes drastically. So, the first one was Monuments of Mars. So the theme was basically Mars base. The second one was called Circle of Cana. And the theme was basically like you're in icy tundra lands. This one is called Forest Swords. The theme is you're kind of in foresty environments. The fourth one is Xenomorph base. So it's clearly alien inspired. In my opinion, the little bit I've checked out about uh, Xenomorph base actually looks a little bit worse quality than the other ones I've played thus far. But I've only... I've only looked at it a bit. Um, oh my god. The fifth one is Coffin Curse, which I believe is maybe more horror themed. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't remember what the sixth is. The seventh is Christmas themed. They do a Christmas one every single year. They have some really cool ones. They have one called like Cybes Colonoscopy in which you get shrunk down and the levels are inside like a cyber demon's like rectum and intestinal tract and stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's one there's one that's a, a, a secret to space balls. Okay, so Xenomorph base, to be honest, they have at least two, maybe three that are based on alien. Actually, they have at least three, maybe four that are based on alien. The first one looks kind of weaker based on what I've seen. And the reason why I say that is because I don't understand. I don't see the alien theme in the level I've played. But there's another one later on, I think like number 17 called Alone. And it is clearly based on the aliens total conversion mod. You actually fight the xenomorphs. Um, you fight face huggers. It is straight up you're playing a, a, an alien mod. Um, so that is where I think it actually gets exciting to check out the alien conversion. One of the one of the most influential Doom mods ever was in 1994. A teenager, I believe, released a aliens total conversion. Um, and this was before like a lot of the modding resources were public. God damn it. Um, yeah, and, and that, that alone Doomer Boards project is very clearly based on it. Yeah, it's very, 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 very clearly inspired. To the point where you start off the wad. A big part with the Alien Total Conversion is you start off the wad. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch! And, oh wait, sorry. Yesterday I said I'm going to stop swearing so much. Okay, we got it. We got to follow through. I got to tone down my swearing and, and, and replace that impulse. Anyways. Uh, I don't even remember what I was saying because I got so distracted by my swearing. Oh yeah, the the mod starts with you basically walking through a facility and there's no enemies. And there's just like corpses and signs of a struggle and it's kind of just like disturbing ambience. And then it transitions over time. And uh, both of those do that. I've, but for the record, I said this yesterday, I've checked out the first level of every single Doomer Boards project just to see what the vibes are like. Um... Yeah. I haven't beaten all of them. Two of them struck me as weaker weaker than the others. And actually, both of the ones that seem weaker than the others have aliens in the theme. Um, wh the wh One looks clearly weaker than everything else. Oh, shit. Yeah, this one... This one seems, so far, I, I feel like the first three Doomer Boards projects all seem kind of equal um, interest to me. They all, you know, they, ha they have their different themes. Um, they're all, like, really competent level design. They're all not easy, but an approachable difficulty. None of them are... Whoa! And none of them... None of them seem like they turn into this just like difficult tea fest of just unfair n n nonsense. They all seem like uh, someone could reasonably play through them. Um, and they, they all have like a pretty, you know, a nice difficulty curve where they go from very like r relatively easy to, you know, more, more intermediate. Ow. Okay, come on. Ow, of course. Ah, you shot a rocket at my ankle! But yeah, the two that seem weaker to me are from what I've seen. It's too early to judge Xenomorph Face because Xenomorph Face, my issue with it is it just doesn't feel like Xeno, uh, Xenomorph based to me. I, I don't I don't see the alien connection so far from what I've seen. But I, I haven't played enough of it. I, I played a bit of level one. I never beat it. Actually, I might have beaten level one. I don't know. And the other one that looks weak to me is Alien versus Predator versus Terminator versus Hell versus Steven Seagal or something like that. Um, and that's the only one that's not a limit removing port, but it's a uh, or li limit removing wad, but it's a GZ Doom wad. <laughs> you're right. You're right. I, I got to work on it. To be honest, like I don't mind I don't mind swearing at all. I'm totally cool with it. But I've listened to a couple of my streams and I realized like I'm at the I'm at the point now where I'm a little I'm unironically like I, I feel like it's a little cringy. It's a little over the top and it's become such a habit. I feel like I need to chill out a bit. 
Because ultimately, like, I put myself in the 18 plus category. But generally, I'm... Except when I make certain jokes like ICA, like when we get into that zone. I'm actually a pretty family-friendly streamer. Except that I swear too much. That's really the only thing. And it's like... You know, I've met cool people. Like, I, you know, I love Cinnabunny. Cinnabunny's freaking amazing. And, you know, Cinnabunny introduced me to people like Lover Minecraft Gaming, uh, Chucky, who is a really cool guy. Really cool guy. Um, but he's a family-friendly streamer. And I, I would like to be able to control myself if I stream with him. To not, um, like, not, like, I, I want to be able, God, funds. To be able to self-moderate enough. I was about to swear, you see. So I said God funds instead. Uh, I want to be able to self-moderate. And to be honest, I do find uh, having to steer my way out of a swear word mid-swear kind of funny in a stupid way. Even if God funds isn't my best work. Okay. There we go. Yeah, yeah. So, the the, the deal with that wad. I, I think it was an interesting idea. I've played the first level. And it was an unbelievable mess. And actually, that wad is really infamous. It was pulled from the boards. And actually, they banned the Doom Rewards project for it for a bit, I believe. Although, I don't think they banned it from... I, I mean, on Doom World. They banned it on Doom World. I don't think they banned it because of... The quality itself, I think they banned it because the people involved were all people that were banned in the community. I think that's what happens. I could I could be wrong about these facts. This is just what I've gathered from reading up. But um the issue is the idea is that you're in a base and there's all these different factions and they're all fighting each other. And so you're stuck in the middle of this chaos and you have all these different weapons. And it's supposed to be melee focused, but they don't really tell you that. Except that every time you kill an enemy, they drop a Berserk pack. But the other thing about it, the thing that inherently makes it way worse... Oh, it also versus Jason from, like, Friday the 13th. The biggest issue with the WAD is that they don't actually hand place what enemy is what. They have the enemies, and which type, which faction shows up is random. And the first room, you're literally in a room with, like, eight enemies or something, and it's a small room. And who, who they are is random. So it's inherently unfair because it is completely luck-based. Like, if you're just presented with an untenable situation. Like, if you fight an alien, they drop burning blood on the ground. It's just... It's too ambitious to the point of chaos. But that being said, I think it's cool to try different things. It sounds like an interesting idea, but something that needs more than one month to develop. 100%. Like, I... Listen, if you have... I, I think interesting failures are are i think failures that go for something is more worthwhile than something that never tries in the first place you know so i am excited to try that one out even though i i really think it will be less fun but there's a bunch there's a bunch of upcoming doomer boards projects that really excite me um one of them is, is, i'm scared about but it looks really good I, there's one what's it called there's... Oh, God. Actually, Pickle would probably be the most interested in this one. I'm trying to remember what it's called. It's number 25. I think it's called, like, Dead... Dead But Dreaming or something. And it's a Lovecraftian-themed one. Oh, yeah. It's... Actually, what happened was Doom was super active, and then it kind of went less active. And in the past few years, there's been a huge resurgence. Um, Doom has grown a ton in the past few years. Like, I would say it's probably... It's probably still in the top... I would guess. I, I, I'm pulling this out of my ass, guys. Don't... Don't, um... Quote me on this. <laughs> this is not based on any stats. But I would assume it's in the, still in the top five most currently modded games, right? Like, the most modded games are gonna be like Minecraft, Skyrim... I don't know what else would be in the top five. I, I remember someone brought up... Oh, God. Someone suggested one recently. You're playing, and uh, you're very interested in that. You're playing Lovecraftian horror D and D. Oh, cool. Oh yeah, I never finished what I was saying about that one though. 
So it's a Lovecraftian themed one. But the issue is it's balanced around playing in Nightmare difficulty. So you can play it in um, Ultra Violence, which is the difficulty I play all these wads in. But generally when wads are designed around Ultra uh, around Nightmare, what that means is that their Ultra Violence difficulty is way too easy. Way too easy. Because the whole purpose of having something in Nightmare Difficulty is designing around a different playstyle. The idea is you fight, but you move on. They are generally much smaller maps. They're based on you not staying in an area too long because enemies come back. They're based on extreme mobility because enemies are, uh, are so aggressive. Um, and they also, they give you a, 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 a fun ton of ammo. Oh god, I'm like out of ammo. So, the issue is like, if you play it on ultra violence, you can just take your sweet time and mosey around, you know, because enemies won't respond to changes in the gameplay. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> so... So the, the reality is I don't play this game in Nightmare Mode, but for that one, I want to play it on Nightmare Mode. Um, that's also the one I've played the most levels of. I've played, I've probably beaten two or three levels in that one just to test it out. I also jumped to like one of the later levels just to see how difficult it gets. And the mod looks really tough, really tough, but it looks playable. And so I want to give it the intended experience. So I will play that on Nightmare once we get there, but it, it will likely be a pain. In the Cyber Demons colon. Okay, we have the yellow key. What are we doing? Bam. How's it going? So I play games. Okay, can I make this jump? Oh, there's a yellow key door right there. Eh. You know what? Save our ammo. Wait. Oh, look where we are. Wait. Is this the yellow key door? Oh my god. Okay. So this is where you see that uh, a, you know, a one month time limit can create an issue. Whereas you can just completely bypass the yellow key. There we go. Oh yeah. I honestly, I, I haven't been super active for a bit, but I, I really want to get back into it. And uh, I, I really, really, really am excited about this Doomer Boards project. My goal with the Doomer Boards projects, for the record, is to kind of binge on them and kind of catch up and then turn it into a monthly thing where every month I play the new release as early as I can. I think that would just be a really cool thing to do. Okay, how do we get these guys? Dang it. Oh, they're infighting. Why did I... What? Oh, dang it. I didn't open that door, so I can't open it from the back. Oh, no. What have I done? Uh-oh. I'm in a weird state with ammo. I have a lot of... shoddy ammo. Not really anything else. Ow! Okay. Okay, let's open up this door just so we actually have a path. Uh. Okay, so this is Revenant Hell in there. Yikes. Huh, it would be really nice. That dude in the. It's Doki Doki Literature Club! Hey guys, write a poem! Pick your words. Number one, bubblegum. <laughs> Nats, uh, Nat, uh, Natsuki's gonna love that. Word two, genocide. Oh, great, Yuri's favorite. Okay.
I feel like that's a pretty good summary of uh, the poetry in Doki Doki. Okay, we gotta take care of these guys. I have really used... How many secrets? There's no secrets in this map. I think we're like right at the end. Okay. I think there was more shoddy ammo I didn't pick up, which we should go for at the end. But first, I gotta deal with these annoying revenants. We gotta, we gotta get rid of these guys. Ah! Okay, we're good. No, he didn't die! And he killed me instantly! Oh my god! You saw that? I think I was at 100 health. <laughs> I went down so fast. You love Doki Doki Literature Shirt Club? It's one of the best examples of video games as an art form. Um, it also had an effect on you more than most horror games do. I think... I, I would say I did like it. I did enjoy it. Um, but I also, I would say I liked it, but I didn't love it. He's still not dead? Are you kidding me? Okay, you know what? Oh my, he got me, really? Okay. Okay. Do I even want to fight those guys? Do I want to get all the kills? Do I care? Or should I just go into this with as much ammo as I can? Um, I am though, I am really interested in what follows up with Doki Doki. I'm going to avoid spoilers as much as I can, just cause I don't know. I don't necessarily know that people that are watching Doom <laughs> for Doom want to get um spoiled for this. But you know, they're, they had the kind of Stuff you could access in the desktop. The stuff surrounding the game, within the game, you know what I mean? And I think that stuff was really interesting. Like, that was the stuff that interested me the most, the kind of meta story. So I'm really interested to see where they go with that. I, I thought that I thought I left a box of shells somewhere. Did I not leave a box of shells somewhere? I was so sure I left a full box of shells. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? What the heck? I remember... Oh, God, I swear I left a box of shells somewhere. I, like, I'm... Sometimes I just, like, mentally note, like, okay, I'll leave that there just in case. And I thought I had that reaction. But maybe I'm wrong. Okay, you know what? I give up. We're gonna- we're just gonna- we're just gonna go. We're just gonna continue. There we go. I'm not gonna waste, like, eight shots on those guys. I wasn't even on- um... Focusing on that that much. I- I- so I, I'd have to listen to that song again, to be honest. Okay, level four, 139 monsters. Okay, this is the most monstery level thus far. Hey, let's get them to shoot each other a bit. What's up, guys? There's a lot of imps here. I almost strafed into that. Okay, you know what? Here come the guys! Here, here come the guys! Here come the guys! Ow! That was handled very poorly by me. Okay. Get some ammo. Yikes. Boy, caramba! I 
I'm hearing some shots behind. Whoa, there's guys up there. Ha 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 ha! You hit the demon, you idiots! Well, look at what you've done! Ow. Look at what you've done! Yes! Oh, I'll take that. That's way better than a chainsaw. This music! Now I feel like I'm playing Persona! And now I no longer feel like I'm playing Persona. There was a moment! But that moment has left. Yeah, the vibe of this, of the music in this wad is so... I'm gonna leave that. Guys! To make sure I'm not crazy! In this specific context, there's shells here? I'm leaving them! We will be back later! Yikes. Okay. I should take care of, uh... There we go. I should take care of some of these hit scanners. You're dead. You're dead. You guys are very dead. In fact, your state of matter is different now. You changed from something that would retain its form to something that would be best carried in a cup. Well, probably a salsa tray, to be honest. Here we go. Who is it? Who is it? Who is there? Who is you? What is this teleporting sound? Huh? It's Emily! Do you get it? Huh? Because goop is Emily, you know? Oh, I got stuck there for a second. Ow. Oh, and we got some of that, uh, that percussion. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Dang it. Okay, fuck this. Fuck this! I was down to 2 HP. Fuck that. I, oh, I'm swearing again! What is wrong with me? I can't stop! Okay. Fun, fun, fun times! Fun times! That's what I meant to say. Okay, they're giving me lots of rockets. That is scary. We always know any times... Listen, doom giveth and doom taketh away. That's what they say. Ooh, oh my gosh. Holy bananas. Holy bananas! Ah! Ah! No, I'm stuck! Oh my god. Okay, guys, I'm bad at Berserk! I admit it! I admit I'm bad at Berserk! Oh, hey guys. I admit it! I know the only reason you, you guys watched me is because I was... I cultivated this image of being a Berserk master. I even posted a screenshot of the anime Berserk in Discord the other day. That's how much I cultivated that image. But it turns out I'm a fraud, I'm a phony, I'm a liar. I suck with Berserk. Hey, by the way, I was watching... Which movie was it? I want to say it was Endgame. I was watching Endgame, and Avengers Endgame had a straight-up Berserk reference. And I didn't notice it the first time I watched that movie, but the second time I watched it, I was like, oh my gosh. 
This is actually like pretty undeniably a reference to one of the most iconic scenes from Berserk, which just kind of blew my mind. What an odd inclusion. I like I'm pro that. I was not expecting someone right there. I pre-fired the rocket. Not good. Okay. I think I saw Mancubus. Hello. Nice. Dooba dooba diba da boo da boo diba diba da ba. Is that a barrel? It is. I like these guys. Okay, question in chat. What do they say when they fire? Okay, listen to when they fire. Tell me what it's saying. Because I have feelings. But everyone hears something different. Like, I hear people be like, Oh, haunted hallway or something. I was like, what? I don't hear that at all. There we go. I hear something specific, but I don't want to influence you. You know? I don't want to... I don't want to... I don't relate to the term influencer. I don't tell you stuff like that. Okay? I let you think for yourselves. I'm not an influencer. There we go. Thank you. Okay, I hear hungry mama. Okay, that's what I hear. Oh, you jerk. This is annoying. Oh my god, I hate barons. Oh, I should have let them infight. Oh, well. Did, is that guy alive? I feel like I didn't kill him. I feel like I just knocked him back. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, what do we do? I feel like there's got to be a way to get up there now. Oh, on your marks? You know what it- What is it, actually? You guys, stop shooting each other! Shoot this guy! Okay, fuck. I, I, uh, dang it, I can't see- I can't stop- I swear too much! Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, um, I watched a video, I think Decino did a video where he did the audio things, because, like, that's how I know, like, the, like, the imp, like, sound is, like, a mountain lion. Like, there's a lot of, there's actually several mountain lion samples. Oh, they're giving me, um, okay. How do we want to do this?
It didn't spawn in a, a ton of guys. I'm hearing teleporting. It did! Gosh, dang it. Wait, what? Oh, hey. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Come on. Oh, yikes. Oh my god. Come on. I almost scraped into that, or, or ran into that. Ah! Him. This guy's taking a lot of shots. Okay. Shot! 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 Archvile. There's an archvile. Ow. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back real fast. Must have left health, right? Hmm. Oh! This is bad. This is real bad. Thought I could get him in time. Oh god, I didn't even I don't know Oh my lord. There we go. I wanted that imp to hit the guy, you know? Ooh, I'm out of shoddy ammo. You know what that means? I got it! Did I just hear a caco? You got almost all the kills. Wee da ba da ba da ba da ba. I'm hearing some demons. Demons! Ba -da -ba -da -ba. That's my impression of picking up a bunch of shotgun shell boxes. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da. Okay, where's the red key door? It's weird that the song momentarily dips into Persona right before changing to like some. Oh, is that the beginning? Okay. Oh. Yes. Wait. Oh, look at that jerk.
I would like some health. What do we have for kills? One? Here we go. Hmm. Is there any health left? We get that. Any health. Any health at all. Ah, who cares? I'm gonna die anyways. It's a circle of life. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. I'm liking this one so far. I feel like all of the first three wads are all kind of in the same zip code for how good they are. I like them all. I have feelings of like... Hmm. Hmm. There's a lot of enemies in this one. Okay. So we're now at the point where clearly uh, we're hitting the difficulty marker going up. I hear imps. Can I shoot through here? Spoiler, that's something they do in Xenomorph Base. They have walls like that and then but enemies can actually shoot through it. Ow. I'm trying to get you guys to line up. Dang it. I want to get like a two for it, you know? There we go. There's going to be a big fight in this at least. At least one big fight. This level's going to be substantially longer. This is like over, like over twice as many as the previous level with the most guys, right? Something like that. Is this... No. Hello. Thank you. Hmm, I'm expecting these to be uh, monster closets. I'm not expecting these to be monster closets. Huh. Hey. Wah! I feel like Kako Demons... Do Kako Demons have less of a telegraph before they attack compared to some other ones? Like, I feel like the, the Barons and um, Hell Knights have a pretty long telegraph for their attack. Although their projectiles are pretty fast. But up but up Guys, I'm leaving shells here! Okay. Okay. Here we go. Would you look at that? Is this going to be a big fight? You're still alive! Okay. Here we go. It was not a big fight. I don't want to get these. Oh, dang it. I got them. I got them. I didn't want to get... Whoa. Ooh, a rad. <laughs> rad, get it? <laughs> rad! I just laughed like Hasanabi. Typical teleport. That's all I'll say on that one. Ooh. 
I teleported into a specter's mouth. Ba da ba da ba. Okay, how do we handle this? We got some guys hitting each other. Okay. Let's take out our little friends. I don't know what that was. Okay. I see you. Ow, you got me? Wait, how, why am I still at 100? Did I walk over health? I saw myself get hit by a shotgunner. I hear an Archie. Archie Bunker! Ow, that hurt me! Dang it. Ow! Okay. What are we doing? Oh, okay. Goodbye. What are we doing? Let's get this. Is this gonna fall? I hear arachnitrons. Ah! Why am I just... Wait, is that not damaging? That might not be a damaging floor, or I got really lucky both times. Where's the other one? Wait, I thought there was another one that was alive. Oh, there you are. Goodbye. Ba ba da ba dee do 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 da ba da ba dee do 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 do. Okay. Question. Favorite and least favorite Beatles song. Okay, let's get that. I should have gotten the helmets after, but whatever. Oh, hey. What's up? I'm just gonna say, the one issue with backpacks, when you're playing in the way I am, where you can die and respawn, is when you, when you die, you lose the backpack. And what that means is you lose any of the excess ammo you could carry. So you could lose, that is one of the easiest ways in the method that I play to um, starve yourself of ammo, is get a bunch of ammo pickups when you have a backpack, die, and, uh, and lose the ability to carry it. Okay, are there other dudes that I'm not aware of here? You are the, like, you are firing so many shots for one caco. What are you doing? How did you use a favorite? Yellow Submarine is, oh, is your favorite? Uh, I need to listen, some of, there's certain songs that I need to listen to again because I had feelings from when I was younger 
but upon re-listen so like i just re-listened to um strawberry fields forever that is an awesome song i really like that song um my least favorite but well, it's not my favorite song but i like it a lot um yeah like i really i think i think my favorite is probably eleanor rigby well, there's so many that are so good blackbird I don't know, there's a lot of really good ones. I think my least favorite is Strawberry Fields Forever. That I've heard. I shouldn't say of all their music. I haven't heard, like, their whole discography. Like, if I were actually to listen, it would probably be one of their early songs. If I were to listen to everything. Okay. Okay. Nice. I want to get... I did I did a good job there, but I want to get better in... Oh, I hear a cyber. I want to get better at dodging. Um, Mancubi. Like, not like that, right? No, 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 no. That's the one that I was trying to back up. But the chainsaw pulls you towards guys. <laughs> okay. Get that. Babadabba. Papanada. Let's say hey, Doom has a Hollow Knight reference. Papanada. Here we go. Get that. I hear you, Archvile, and I hate everything you stand for. Oh, it's closed behind me? Not good. Okay. Okay. The Archie is going to unveil itself at some point. Oh, I see rockets. How's my rocket hitch? It's pretty good. Okay. I think this is it. There's two. God damn it. This is awkward. It's awkward to hit them. God damn dang it. I have five H oh, this is not good. Oh I got Oh my lord, no. Really, there's a new Metroidvania uh roguelite that you it's called Have a Nice Day. I haven't seen it. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of, uh, I shouldn't say I'm not the biggest fan, but for some reason I'm having a hard time getting into roguelikes at the moment, or roguelites. Um, that being said, I, I think Dead Cells is absolutely amazing. I think Dead Cells is an unbelievably fun game, and that is a Metroidvania roguelike. So I'm, I'll definitely, I'm definitely open to, to checking it out. Ow. Okay. Where did that situation occur? There's a cyber demon in there, right? I need to play Hades at some point. Because currently I think my favorite roguelike I've ever played is Dead Cells. But I hear so many people say Hades is the goat. So I feel like I gotta try it at some point. I right, hear another.
Okay, we got it. We got it. Well, there's a mega sphere. There's another one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, what? Wait, what? Okay, let's try this. Hello? It's like, wait, what? Oh, oh, did I see an arch Archie? I'm about to die. God dang it. This is not good. There is an Archie there. Okay, let's get this. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've only played, um... Hey, how's it going, Tech Rock? I've only ever played, uh... Bastion by Supergiant Games. But Bastion is awesome. Okay. Come on. Come on! Did I get those guys? Okay. We got them. Archie dead. Archie Andrews. Uh, Bastion Blaster. Yeah, Bastion, I thought... I mean... What two games have the best narrator ever? Bastion and uh, and Stanley Parable, obviously, right? Wait, 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 wait. Let me let me just ca catch up to what what you guys said. It was game of the year. FTL is the goat roguelike. Um, FTL. I've watched a fair bit of it, FTL. Um. And I can't, I'm not going to say, comment on FTL's quality, because I think FTL is clearly good. It's just very, very not for me. Uh, like, it is kind of the opposite of my go-to gameplay style. Like, I, you know what, which game I think... A game that I think... It's going to be weird for me to say this is underrated because I think a lot of people viewed this as the GOAT. So it's weird for me to say this. That, that it's underrated at all. But I think in the current discussion, Binding of Isaac is underrated. Even though I know Binding of Isaac is the game that popularized it, it is super well-known and beloved. Oh, I want, to, I want to get the new Stanley Parable. But, like, I think sometimes you get... You know, you get certain things like... I think sometimes you'll get situations where, like, the creators of a song or creators of a, of a piece of art, they give praise to another pe person's work that that kind of, like, self... It's, it's not, like, self... Uh, it's not really insulting themselves, but they, you know, it's like when Trent Reznor said that um, Hurt is no longer his song, it's Johnny Cash's. And so a lot of people use that as, you know, basically like a citation that Johnny Cash's version is superior. Whereas for me, I'm like, no, I, like, there is something extremely special about Trent Reznor's version of Hurt that I don't think any any recreation has touched, right? Regardless of what he says. Um, and, like, I know, I've heard Edmund McMillan say that, like, Spelunky is, like, the best game ever made, I think he said at one point. And, ba and I, I, he said, like, Spunky was so much better than Binding of Isaac. And and, I, I, and while I, I like Spelunky, 
Um, I disagree with that statement because I think... I think that Binding of Isaac does one thing that's super special that I don't know that I've ever seen another game touch. And what that is, is I think... I think more than any other game ever that I've seen... Um, except for, like, freaking something like Dwarf Fortress, maybe. <laughs> you know? Um... Binding of Isaac has went super, super, super deep with the idea of syner synergies and just unpredictable things happening. Based on just how things stack. That game, I think, has unbelievable replayability because of the crazy stuff that can happen. Dang it. I couldn't get what I want. Oh, there we go. It, it did happen. Okay. Honestly, I shouldn't worry about that, dude. Because these guys are going to fall into... an area where they can get rezzed. I, I shouldn't even worry about them. Look at that! Why, why? Oh, that's so weird! That's a new one for me. Shoot, wrong guy. These cacos are being so annoying. Okay, you know what? One down. Oh, he can—he can—he can see me. Shoot. Okay, there we go. Oh my God, you guys! Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Uh, you agree that uh, you really like the Binding of Isaac, but it is still one of the best. Yeah, I, I just think... I don't think Binding of Isaac has the best game feel, right? That's that's the reason where I think Binding of Isaac has been far surpassed. Games like Spelunky, games like, uh, I believe, Hades. I haven't played it, but I assume, uh, based on watching it. Games like Dead Cells. Games like Enter the Gungeon. Far surpass it in terms of game feel. Um, in that you don't like Isaac? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I, I, I totally think it's, uh, I get why people wouldn't like it, but, um, yeah, in terms of game feel, I don't think it's in the same league as a bunch of other games, but in terms of the synergy thing, um, and just the absolute creativity and unpredictability and, um, possibility for runs to go bonkers I feel like Binding of Isaac is untouched is this a damaging floor? it is yeah it's a, quite a damn okay let's go through here okay oh I went down here Papanada. Shit. I think I'm gonna die. That was so stupid. I just wanted to know what, what was over there, you know? Okay, is there... I think there's a med kit here. Yeah. Binding of Isaac is also, like... I don't know. Binding of Isaac does some cool... Really cool commentary as, as far... I'm really, really, really deeply into Ed, Edmund McMillan's work. Um, in that I think he has very, very, like, profound... The amount of himself that he puts in the games... The amount of himself that he puts in his games I find, like, really beautiful and tragic and captivating. Um, and, uh... Like, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Indie Game the movie. And I know that he hates this. I know that he hates that this was in the movie and that it was, like... That everyone knows, and it was edited in, su in such an exposing way. And if you listen to his commentary, he clearly feels way too exposed. 
And I think also a lot of people now know him more because from the movie than from his games. But, oh, shoot. But there's a shot in that movie where he's describing Super Meat Boy. And in Super Meat Boy, that game got protested by PETA. Because they're like, oh, it's a pro meat game. And he was kind of laughing. Because he's like, dude. You're not supposed to be a steak. It's not like, yo, you're some delicious veal. Right? The idea of Super Meat Boy is that he's a boy without skin. So everything he touches in the world is so unbelievably painful and devastating. Like, mere existence is so absolutely painful for this character. And that, um... And, and to the point where, like, one of the areas is the salt factory. Because a grain of salt would be so devastatingly painful for someone with no skin. Right? And that's why his girlfriend, it's not Princess Peach. It's Bandage Girl. It's someone that is not just a girl that he seeks, but it's the one thing that shields him from the pain. Right? And then on top of that, the thing that tears her away from him is Dr. Fetus. Right? And so you start realizing that this story... This is not just, like, random edgy characters. This is tapping into an autobiographical relationship and, uh... And clearly some, you know, a, a certain traumatic thing they had to go, you know, deal with in their life. Like, and that you can play that game without... Without interacting with that that artistic aspect without that narrative without that realization you can interact with the game and it's still a great game independently of that but yet in this kind of ridiculous rage game like comedic just brutal fun absurd platformer like he put he managed to still put so much of himself in that and i think it's i don't know i, I really really love ed, Mc, ed and mcmillan um and I, there's certain, there's certain things that like, you know, I don't know. There's certain interesting things about his games where he's very un unflinching. And when he gets uncomfortable, he releases things that he feels like are career suicide. Um, and, and you'll see him do these things where he just, oh, I'm really enjoying them. I'm really enjoying them. I'm on the third one so far, but I'm, uh, like originally I, I, I got really into Doom again recently and you know, there are a bunch of wads I really want to play. I really want to play Going Down, you know. Um, like, there's there's a bunch of things I'm really excited about. But when I heard about the Doomer Boards project, it just put the rest of um, my excitement about the rest of Doom on pause. Because I just think this is such a good idea. I think this is such a great idea for uh, a way to keep the game alive. I absolutely love it. But yeah, so like with Binding of Isaac, like there's so much interesting stuff in that game. Um, and it's so dark, but, like, presented in a way that doesn't feel as dark as it is. But, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of, like, there's a lot of the feelings of, of guilt and the feelings, uh, growing up in, like, you know, dealing with being a child growing up in a Catholic household and not understanding the imagery <laughs> and, uh, and, like, and what a lot of the... A, what a lot of the guilt is. Yeah, they they do a really amazing job. A, a lot of the, the guilt and stuff like that that is associated with some of those experiences for a child that they're not able to process. It deals with, like, struggling with gender identity and what their place is in the world. Um, they're, they're, it, it touches on some just really, really interesting topics. Um... And, but it also doesn't shove it in your face. It's just a way that, you know, you can read into it as much as you want or as little as you want. Um, I, and so that's that's what I just really love about Edmund McMillan. That if you want to really get into what what he's expressing in these games, there's, oops, such a freaking deep, a deep gulch that you can dive into. But but it's never in the way of the game. Yeah, I, I do plan to. You know, things change. Like, listen... I'm notorious on my channel. I am notorious on my channel for starting a project 
and then burning out and getting distracted by something else, right? I plan to play through every Final Fantasy game, and I got through, like, four and a half of them, right? I plan to play through, you know, every East game, and I got through six of them. So, I, I don't I don't make any promises that I'm going to be able to do the binge in one go, but in my current mind state, how I feel, that's, that's what I'm excited about, and that's what I want to work through. So that is my goal. But... You never maybe maybe there will be a hiatus at some point if I if I'm feeling something else. And I I happen to be a little bit flighty with my moods. Okay, what do I have? Red key, yellow key. Okay, I remember the yellow door is over here. That's the story of your life. You have over uh, 600 video games. Uh, you play halfway, get distracted by newer games. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, um, let's see. How, how do I even? I, I have them sorted so it won't show all my games. But like, 146 boomer shooters. Come on. Let's go down to my main library. Uh, that's that's I've completed. Uh, it says 212 stream completed. Let's scroll down. Oh, those are terrible games. Uncategorized. 2,386. I got a lot of stuff to play. I got a lot of stuff to play, and it's easy to get distracted. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that is partially, that is true, but I also haven't been streaming that much lately, right? So even though it seems like I've been playing Doom for like a month, um, I really took like, or I probably like two months, I kind of took a month off of stream. So there is that. Okay. Okay. As awesome as Doom is, depending on the wads you play, you can burn out quickly. It's good to have some, yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, and the reality is that as long as I'm playing Doom, like, I'm really passionate about the retro shooter boom that is happening right now. Uh, and as long as I'm playing Doom, I'm not going to be playing those games because they scratch the same itch for me. Oh, hey. Here we go. I didn't see you. Okay, dude, you're you're gonna be annoying. So I want to deal with you. Very quickly. Because I, I just suck at Revenant. You ever play Golden Souls series? So I I started streaming Golden Souls, but I was really stupid about it. I was really stupid with how I handled it. Um I played it. I started a stream where I played it. When I got back into Doom modding, it was one of the first things I played. I think it was the first Doom mod I played on stream. And I played it co-op with um, Zandronum. And the reality is Golden Souls is not built for co-op with Zandronum. It, it was broken. It didn't work. I, um, and I, I realized that uh, I need to really check out if the wads are designed for it. And I need to... Uh, and Golden Souls is one I need to play solo on GZ Doom. That's the reality. So I, it, it's to the point where I didn't delete the VOD. But... Part of me considered deleting it because I don't want to... I don't like that that's up there as um, a picture of that wad when that is not at all how it's intended to be played. You can call up with GZ Doom. It's a pain in the ass. You have to use Himachi. Yeah, like, you can port forward with... With, um... With, uh... GZ Doom 2. But I have a... Uh, what's it called? I don't have a static IP. And so port forwarding becomes a pain in the ass and there have been some games where it's just they've been essentially unplayable because of the port forwarding nature uh unless i use hamachi and hamachi you know hamachi has its is its own bag of worms i used hamachi to play i used hamachi to play with um with goats when we did chex quest co-op i used hamachi um the gz doom multiplayer though it's like Here's the reality. When I play... <laughs> when I play these games with other people, I like... I like taking on the role of doing all the setup required and having them just able to jump in. And that's why that's why I did the Zandron of Doomseeker, was that I gave them the tutorial how to install it, and then I would handle the server, and they could just join, and everything is fine. Right? It's easy. But with GZ Doom, it requires me to, like, send them over a, a, bat, a batch file, you know, and... Like, there's just all these other aspects to it that are more challenging to do it. 
Uh, you're trying to call up another total conversion called Pirate Doom, which caused issues with desyncing, so it wasn't playable. Yeah, I also I also tried to do multiplayer Pirate Doom. I didn't do that on stream. Um, what the heck? I didn't do that on stream. I did that off stream. Um, like I, I have a bunch of wads downloaded, which I, I plan to have as options to stream. Golden Souls one and two are both on that list. Pirate Doom is also on that list. Um, and there's a bunch of others. There's so many. But, um, those are, those have gone from a short-term goal to a long-term goal now, because I'm way more interested in the Doom Rewards Project. And I think that Doom Rewards Projects are a really good thing for me from a channel aspect once I catch up, because it's cool to have something that you can do every month and just have something to look forward to that you know you're going to do and be excited about. Okay, wait, what am I doing? What? Okay, I am so deep into conversation right now that I am just running around in circles and not, fo like, mentally focusing on this game at all. <laughs> That's the problem sometimes when I'm, like, really focusing on combo. Um, okay, what was the goal of this room? We pulled a switch, right? Okay, the goal of this room was to pull that switch. Um, you don't know if you remember... Oh! Uh, yeah, of course I remember, uh, Daddy Scott. Of course. Are, are, so are you streaming on So I Play Games now? Yeah, when you said uh, you haven't been here in a while... I was, uh, and it also said first time chatter. I was like, oh, maybe you're a lurker. Maybe you found me on TikTok or something. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Guy, so you stream on that channel. Okay, first things first. I'm going to give a follow because uh, for anyone who doesn't know, Daddy Scott was one of the first, actually, when I met you, you had an even other channel name. It was, uh, 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 what was it? What was your original channel name? Okay, I'm going to give a follow. I'm also going to give a shout out. Falmouth Scott, yes. Um, really, really entertaining. Oh, so you've just started up again, I see. Uh, really entertaining channel was doing a lot of, um, a lot of like RPGs, like Kingdom Hearts and stuff like that. Um, and then his computer broke, and it was kind of. I know he also does like a lot of Apex and stuff. I was kind of forced out of uh, forced out of streaming for a long time, which is unfortunate because. He is a guy that I can say has a lot of personality, was always very kind, and definitely worth checking out. Thanks for telling me who you were. I I, I just assumed you were like a, a lurker. Uh, I shouldn't say just, but you know what I mean. Uh, I hope you have a great day. Nice seeing you again. It's been a long time. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Also, follow me. Thanks, Tech Rock. Yes. Yeah, there's this, uh, there's this niche channel you might not know about. Really funny guy. Really great takes. Just a handsome... Giga chat of a man. Um, the only reason you might not want to follow him is just the sheer Giga Chad masculinity he exudes from seeing his face on camera might be a little bit intimidating and lower your self-esteem. But if you can get past that, I recommend following the curliest fry. Um, oh my god. What what the fu what the the hell am I doing? I okay. We pulled a switch. Something out here happened. They were monsters. Something out here is different. I'm just, like, freaking going in loops and focusing on convo. Okay. I love focusing on convo, but I gotta, like, mentally... Oh, there we go. Oh, my God. Holy crud. Are there enemies there that can shoot through that wall? Uh, I'm hearing enemies here. Oh, hey, guys. Whoa. That was uh, a tight dodge. So there's a blur sphere there. Yeah, he is also a Canadian and he sounds a lot more Canadian than me. He sounds a lot more Canadian than me. You know what I mean? I'm not sure if he's like Winnipeg or if he's like some rural rural Ontario or something, but he's got that he's got that Canadian vibe. Okay. Blur spheres are risky. They're good if you're surrounded by chain gunners. They're bad if you're surrounded by anything else. I think I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. Whoa. Oh, gross. I hate musicians. What disgusting, terrible, degenerate people. Every musician is horrible. 
Okay, good thing I didn't get the blur sphere. I'm joking. I'm, I'm a musician. Okay, I was hoping. Oh, oh, I'm getting flanked. This is why Kako demons are a little bit scarier than like demons in certain ways. Demons are scarier because they're faster. Kako demons are scarier because you're like, oh, there's one way in which I can get attacked, and then they're like, psych! Okay. Yeah, there's one thing you to know about me. It's that I have a, a massively inflated ego. And body. A massively inflated body, too. And by body, I mean body of work. Okay. I'm just very prolific. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. We done our thing here. Have I ever? Have you ever sent your like your music or anything like that? Out of curiosity. Cause I would totally be down to check it out sometime. Unless it's like a private, a private thing. Also, CJ, I'm surprised you know Foulmouth Scott, because I met you through, like, a completely different circle. Or, I shouldn't say Foulmouth Scott. So I play games. I apologize. I'm used to back in the day. Uh, no, you've never been in that big of a band. You're between... Oh, okay, cool. Okay, what do I have? Oh, I have all the keys. Let's go to Cyber Demon Hell. Okay. Oh, God. How do I want to deal with this? Okay, there's one. There's two. Dang it. I'm doing po poorly with these. Okay, I'm doing really poorly with these. Okay, screw it. Let's risk death. We're gonna risk death. There we go. We can hear the cyber. Oh my god, there's still a lot of enemies left. Okay. Are you serious? I did that. I did that. There we go. Nice. 
Nice. Uh, do I want that? Not yet. Okay. Ow. My bad. Ba, 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 ba. Are we on level? We're still on level five. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to get the backpack yet. There we go. That is an arch vile fight I like. Give me, give me a pillar. Don't sur surround me. I can just, okay, what's behind here? Oh, nothing? I thought that was gonna fall. Sh shoot. I see a pain elemental. Shoot, I'm out and I have to fight a cyber demon. That's not good. I shouldn't have used all of them. One little caco corpse standing all alone. Ow! I can't see a single thing. Uh oh. Okay. My most hated thing in Doom is blood. Because you never know. You never know if it's a damaging floor or not. Uh, it makes it even funnier that you didn't realize you weren't talking about... <laughs> exactly. No, I, you know, no, I, 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 I have to take it in, you know? Yeah, I have to, you have to spin it. Listen, this is my stream. Every conversation is about me. Oh my golly freaking gosh. Oh god. Revenants are annoying, even though they're good enemies. There we go. Okay, where? What is a what's a good nickname for um the cyber demon? Cedric. Something's happening. Something's happening. Yikes. Ow! You got me! Okay, I'm not doing nearly enough. You know what? You only die once. Okay, what's over here? How do I get this? How? I would love that. I did not expect you there. Okay, how? 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 How do I get you? I would love you right now so much. Eh. Do I like hug a torch? Do I shoot this? 
Oh my god. Uh, you've been playing, you've been singing since you could talk and playing bass, uh, 16 years at this point. You all then thought that if you lived somewhere with more music stores, you could probably get a uh, job as a studio musician pretty easily. Oh yeah, nice. I don't know. I I tell you, trombone. Oh look, there's the Cybe. Music is a bitch. Music is a bitch. Like, unless, unless you get into some, like, really... Obviously, it's going to be different depending on the instrument, right? Like, if you play piano, there's more options for you to make money by yourself because you can do solo gigs. Shoot. Um, but yeah, like, with, with trombone, like, you have to be proficient at everything. You have to be open to do every type of music, ready for, and like, the amount of... Ooh, I hear... Oh, yikes. The amount of, like, pools you have to dip your toes into is crazy. Come on, I know there's another one. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. What what type of music do you enjoy playing the most? Okay, we got we got to get out of the line of sight for a second. Eight enemies. Huh. Okay, so we cleared out this place. What did we do in the... We pulled a switch. Okay, I need to not be below that dude. Because my biggest risk of death is standing below him and him shooting down and me just getting hit with crazy splash damage. Elevated cybers are always annoying. This is a, a pretty large map. Okay, let's just let's just backtrack, okay? Let's just backtrack. We got up here, we pulled a switch, right? We navigated our way back up. This opened up. Okay? From here, we pulled a switch. I don't know what that did. A lot of things ported in, but something else happened. Look, I'm playing Hexen. I wonder if it's towards the cyber demon. Yeah, a bunch of guys came in, but it also that switch had to be for progress, right? Like it, it wouldn't have just triggered that. So I presume I'm gonna guess it's closer to the cyber demon. It might be back by the start, actually. Okay, I should not. Here, let's see. I don't know where I haven't been. I don't see anywhere that I, like, very obviously haven't been. I see a place that might be a secret. Okay. Got that. Huh. Where I came from. Okay, it might be worth us going through this door. Okay, nothing up here. Hmm. Rock, metal, punk, hardcore, anything you can bang your head to. Uh, you'd love to be a front woman, not having to worry about playing bass. You can scream, you can growl, have a pretty decent singing range. Nice. Does, do you find, like, doing the, the growl and screaming, do you, are you, do you know how to do it without, like, devastating your throat? Or, or like, how do you find you deal with stuff like that? 
That seems like it would be something that would be such a tough line to thread without causing permanent damage. Like, there's got to be techniques to do it. I'm sure. Where the heck are we going? You know what? I'm going to... Let's crouch. <laughs> Look, I can go under here. <laughs> you didn't expect that, did you? Amazing. Okay. Source ports. Where the heck am I going? I don't think there's triggers in this game for killing a cyber demon. I don't think they can do it where you kill you kill a cyber demon and it triggers something. I don't think. I know they can do that with Mancubi on uh, and, and Arachnitrons if you play on map seven. That's one limitation. If you play on map seven only, killing Mancub every Mancubus or every um, Arachnitron can be a trigger. All the diaphragm, the only thing you have to worry about is you lose SA if you're less air if you're screaming. Uh and a hot higher you're tightening your throat. Oh cool. Yeah, that's good. That's one thing I, I really I, like even if you're not doing that type of music, even if you're just like you know, a standard French singer singing like poppy songs, it is worth taking at least one lesson with a vocal with a vocal teacher. Just to make sure you're doing it in a proper way that doesn't, like, cause you to have, like, nodes and stuff, like, horrible issues on your throat. Because it's super common for any vocalist to just destroy their voice. It's very difficult to avoid. Okay, I don't want to go under there, but I might have to. Okay, what's the area that I said... Looks like there could be a secret. Oh, never mind. Where that? This is a little convoluted. Unless this might just be me. Like, listen, one of the things with streaming is sometimes you, you know, your focus is shifting back and forth between, you know, you're not putting 100% focus in. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Die. Oh, is this? Hang on a second. Is this saying, like, look, you have a weapon you can kill guys with? Or is this saying, um, you need to die to win the level? Because some levels have areas where you need- where you can die and win. But, okay, let's get out of here. Well, not anything is possible. There's- it's a limit removing wad, so certain things are not possible. Like, I don't- here, I'm gonna- I am gonna kill this guy. Dang it, I thought, I thought he was going to hit the ledge. Shoot. But um, they can't turn anything into a trigger in a limit removing wad. Oh my god, this fucking guy. I, sorry, I've been swearing! I'm back to swearing! Yeah. Hmm. Well, at least that guy's gone. But I used up, like, all my freaking ammo. What did I open up? What could I have opened up? I don't see anything there. Is that a teleporter there? What is that? Oh, that's the teleporter to leave. The pink. That pink is a secret. I've already found that. Let's see. Let's press F. Let me look around. Hmm. Yeah, this mapping style, it can be a little bit, uh... When you, when you ha basically have a mapping style of you have a, a broad area and you're kind of Metroidvania-ing it, like, you keep, you keep reusing the same area and you're backtracking through it over and over, but it's recontextualizing the area. It's cool, but it creates things where it becomes very hard to figure out. Like, you can just... 
Kind of be stuck and not know where the thing you need to interact with is. Okay. You gotta comb through every area. I mean, the fact that there's no enemies in here, no new enemies in here, leads me to believe it's not going to be in here. What am I at for kills? There's only seven guys left. Like, gotta be so close. Hmm. It could be something up top. Huh. The fact that the door opened up to up above leads me to believe it could be something up there, but I've checked it a couple times. But it's, it is worth checking again. There were enemies in here. I have shot that and nothing happened. Hmm. I would love that Megasphere. It's a different texture. Uh, let's go back up. Was the blood a damaging floor? I can't remember. I think it was. Okay, let's go back through. This is gonna hurt, but whatever. We need we need to backtrack. I hate blood as a damaging floor. Or I would hate blood as a damaging floor if it was always used as a damaging floor. But the fact that it is like pretty literally 50-50 is super annoying. Oh my god. Okay, we'll get that. Up and at it. Okay, this area of the map is cleared. You know what? Let's use some GZ Doom nonsense. Dang it, that didn't work. Ah! Dang it, didn't work at all. Okay, I tried. Okay. What am I missing? What am I missing? I can go on the roof here. I mean, oh. Dang it, I can go on that path. But that would just be for a secret. That wouldn't be for any actual progress. Uh. Okay. Let's head back up. Popping at it. Oh my god, I'm I'm the worst. I'm the worst. There's a channel called Mount Pain 27, a very, 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 very good, unique Doom channel, in which uh, they play through just like a bunch of uh, a bunch of Doom wads from start to finish. Um, and they, they don't have the playthroughs on the channel, but they rank every every level and the wad in general in terms of uh, map quality with regards to like failness. I mean, wait, fairness? What the heck, failness? That's what I'm doing right now. I'm I'm having high levels of failness right now. Uh. Fairness, uh, like creativity, blah, blah, blah. But they also rank it on difficulty. It's a, it's a really good channel. Um, and I, I had a I had a reason to say that. And I've gone off track because of my explanation of the channel. I had a reason why I was going to bring that up. Okay. Almost all of the enemies were out in the open here. Yeah. Yeah, this is... It's not my favorite thing. Like, I, I think this map is fun when you know where you're going. I think this map would be a lot more fun on a replay. Um, Like, there's a lot of things to like about it, but... Yeah, like, I am... I just have absolutely no idea where I'm going. I've been through this area. Okay, I haven't been through here. Even though I don't want to go through here, I feel like I have to check. Huh. Okay, I've been up there. What am I missing? What am I missing? Where? What area? 
Let's go back to the main outdoor area because there's going to be some blaze I haven't checked. There's going to be some blaze I haven't checked around here. I feel like I've checked those places a bunch. I'm, I think I've checked that place a bunch, but let's check. Let's go in. Could be wrong. It could be wrong. Yeah, I have checked this place. Where? Oh, my. Like, this is the one reason why I don't want to play Hexen on stream. The only reason. I There's so many things I love about Hexen. But, like, it's going to have so much of this in the playthrough. Except the worst thing with Hexen is that this won't be limited to one map. This will span maps. Like, you'll have to backtrack to previous maps. Okay, where the heck? Where the heck do we need to go? What level is this? Waste tunnels. Okay. Yeah, like we're back here. We're back here. Yeah, Hexen is one. The other thing with Hexen, though, is I feel like Hexen would be so fun to play multiplayer. But it also wouldn't work with Zandronum. Based on the game structure. Um, whereas I feel... Okay, it might be up here. Being up high might be the answer, to be honest. That's what I'm leaning towards. So I think Hexen would be a cool game if I got two people. Oh my god, there it is. Oh my god. Hexen would be fun if I got two people to play multiplayer in GZ Doom, but that would require a lot of setup on my part and whoever I got to play with me's part. And that's a big ask of other people. I hear an arch vial. Wait, was that an arch vial? The okay, we're level six. So they're showing me that those guys exist. Oh, hey. You son of a bitch. That's a rough start. That's a rough, a rough start. Yeah, the big difficulty spike. Keep in mind, Keep in mind, this is designed for a pistol start. They're giving you a berserk to deal with that. That's crazy. Like, I have all my weapons from, ow, from previous playthroughs that I'm struggling, from previous levels that I'm struggling. They're giving me a berserk to deal with this. That is crazy. Yeah, that's what I meant. I meant three player. I don't know what I said. I meant me and two other people. Because I would like to do one of every class. Whatever I said, I meant three player. There's not many enemies in this level, though. There's only 102, so it's just one nightmare-ass fight. Uh... I don't know. Okay. See, this is a situation where if I wasn't playing with with uh, n not infinite monster height and uh, like if I wasn't playing with the settings I'm playing with now, I wouldn't have been able to hit those chain gunners. But that being said, they would have been hitting the um, th they would have been hitting the cacos and not me. So it actually would have probably been a pro to have infinite monster height, but I don't know. There's pros and cons. Okay. Can we get the Mancubus to attack? Attack me! Yes! 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 
Beautiful! Thank you! Dude, attack me! The Mangibus doesn't want to fight. Okay. Mangibus! Yes! Nice. I would say that went well. I need to get better at reading, like, when to infight and stuff like that. Like... I don't think I'm objectively bad bad at this game. Like I don't I wouldn't say I'm a beginner, but I'm I'm definitely not good at the game. I need a better quick reading of the situations. Nice. There we go. Although I do sometimes get into bad death loops. And I do sometimes have deaths that are so unbelievably stupid. If you judge me by my worst on-stream Doom playing, god dang I'm a bad player. <laughs> hit me. What a jerk. Okay, what are your guys' favorite Doom weapons? How am I for shells? Nope. Nope. Nopers. Okay. Give me lots of health here. Give me lots of health here. They're giving me... Hey, what's in here? Ha 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 ha. Oh, God. Boop, 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 boop. One of the things I like about these Doomer Boards project... Like, some of the ones that are, even though I know, like, some of the longer, longer ones, like, Augur Zenith, are, like, it's, they're amazing, and it's awesome that they're way longer. I kind of like these, the length of these, because they're such a good length for one session. Because I find if you play too much Doom, you can get a little bit of, like, oh, okay, I'm at my, oops, I'm at my limit now. But the length of these is, like, so nice to, like, sit down and play through. Oh, it blew up and hit me! Ow! Thank God for some soul spheres, cause I'm bad at this game. Bop, 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 bop. Bop and out Oh, look where we are. Well, golly! Have I been down here? Uh, 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 uh. There's a lot more secrets in this level. This level? I like, like, the, the feel of this level. Except I, I, I mean, I don't know about that first fight, to be honest. <laughs> but I, I like the feel of the level. But aesthetically to me, it looks like almost like a master levels level. Like there's, it has such an old school vibe. Oh, invisible wall. I do have the red key.
Let's not get cornered. Okay. Okay. Whoa, we have most of the kills done. Yeah, th this this level was weird with difficulty. The first level was so... The first part was, like, so kind of unnecessary. And then the rest of it so far has been pretty tame. Weird pacing. Uh, Grant, listen. Uh-oh, are we stuck? No, we're not. Listen. This is a mod made in a month with contributors. Like, there's not going to be as much time to, like, test certain things and get feedback. They have a crazy output. And overall, like, these mods are really fun. So I can't... I'm not trying to sound harsh. Oh, I see a red key out there. Okay. Wait, the red key is what I got. It's what I got. Okay, so we pulled the lever. Listen! My <laughs> awareness is not amazing, okay? It's fine. Leave me alone. There's the blue key. Do we open up a path over here? Stop making fun of me in front of my friends. Wait, is that a ladder? Wait, what? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I literally just used it. Ha, ha. There we go. Oh, I love... I... To see... Listen. I don't know what the best Doom channel is out there. I haven't watched that many. But the two that, I, that I've that i watched that I love are Mount Pain 27 and Decino. Frickin' Decino has taught me so many things that I absolutely adore. Like, just the fact that if you're facing off against a Pain Elemental, like you can just punch them to death and they can't do shit because they need space to spawn the enemies. Even when they die, they need space. So if you just suffocate them, they can't do shit. They're like such a... Um, they're, they're an enemy that can be so dangerous, but they can also, in some situations, be so just, like, absolutely neutered. Oh, there we go. Chain gunners? Some oh, you son of a bitch! Look at me casually. Oh, you sons of bitches. Good God. Thank God the Revenants trapped that jerk. Yikes. So much for the no more swearing. I'm like, I heard something open. Huh, where are? where is it? Where is it? And then just a wall of death behind me. Hi, Caramba! Hello! Hello! Can you, like, show your face, dude? Come on. Come on. Fourth time's the charm. Hello! Hello! There we go. We are almost done. Yes. Yes. Golly. G Willikers. Okay.
Yikes. Yikes. Goodbye. I think we're done. Okay. I should... We're, that was level 6. That was a weird level. I mean, there was... The Archvile Trap existed. So that was... That, that's the one exception. But this level had, like, one really tough fight. And then the rest was, like, easier than almost everything else we've done. Okay. There's got to be some early level ammo, right? Right. I don't want to be in a bad situation in the next level. I, there's got to be stuff I left behind in this one. There's like, I haven't found many secrets either. Uh, I wonder if there's any place that looks like it could be an obvious secret. I see one place that could be a secret. Where, where am I? How do I get there? How do I get there? Huh. I feel like there could be something there. Wake up! Make up! You wanted to! Fable! You wanted to! You wanted to! Okay, sorry. I just got inspired. Where are you? Oh, ammo. Oh, ammo. There we go. There we go. Yes. Yes. Give me those 10 extra shots. Shot, 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 shot. shot. Make up, be body 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 ba make up, be body 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 ba table. You wanted to, da ba da ba da ba da ba fable. Okay. Okay. How do I get back up there? What was the what was the route? What was the route? Oh my god. Oh my golly, golly gosh. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, is it time for me to just move on? There was a way to get up there. Oh my god. I'm getting lost in a map this small. Let's be real. Oh, it was here. Uh, uh. Little little uh, synth bassoon moment or something. Okay, I think we're 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 just ready to go. Screw it. That's that. That's that. Okay. 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 Doesn't have a name. You have entered deeply into the infest. I, I kind of wish they changed the text for these. Uh oh, I woke him up. Okay, what's the enemy count? Big enemy count. High enemy count. Uh, 
<laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They they have been doing the X Files theme. Yikes. Get away from me. I agree. Oh, I disagree. Okay, dude. Pl plural. Dude, plural, like fish, plural. We see a. We see a herd of dude in the distance. Okay, you guys are annoying. What are you up to? Wait, who, 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 who is you? Okay. There's a couple AI streams I want to do in the near future. I've, I've, I've had the one is there's an AI girlfriend that that you can voice talk to, or I don't even know if it's a girlfriend. It's like an AI avatar that you can voice chat with. I think that'd be really funny. But I also I want to look into OpenAI a bit. I, I saw a bit of a video about it. It looks interesting. It seems very powerful. Okay. <laughs> are you are you scared, Pickle? Don't worry. It's not gonna it's not gonna play out like AI dungeon. Why yes, I'm a police officer that for the sake of legality will pretend I'm nineteen. Get out of here, AI dungeon. Stop being creepy. Yikes. There you go. Yeah, that was the, that was my like one of my first clips. Pull the ripcord. I opened the car door and kicked her out. Okay. Where are we going? So much to do, so much to see. So what's up with Nick from Backstreet? Ooh, that's a cool moment in a song. There we go. I love it when it's a two-shotter. I, I I need to get way better. I was gonna say better fighting revenants, and then I just casually stood in front of an imp and like took a nap. Do I hear a chain gunner? And I don't mean me. I can't. Oh, there we go. I don't want someone to clip it like, ha! Ah, he doesn't even. What idiot streamer doesn't even know he's using a chain gun? Ha 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 ha! Ha ha ha! Oh, this guy's literally pressing the button and he doesn't know it's him! Ha ah, ha No! That's not what I meant! Yeah, Tech Rock, listen. There have been points where you've been the person that I needed in chat. Support me. You know, you support me, you you give you use the lull emote so that when I go through the stream I can be like, oh that was a funny moment, I can clip it. But right now, you're not cool, man. 
Not cool. Haha, <laughs> there's a shotgun are still alive too. Ha ha ha. Oh my god. Cackle corpses are the worst. Yo. I'll miss you. Okay, whatever. You can live. I'll see you in a bit. Okay. I don't like using chain gun bullets on them, but I just didn't want that guy to live. I just had what I had. You know, I'm too lazy to look for clips now that I basically exclusively use lull or laugh emote to be like, oh, this is where I clip. <laughs> Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Speaking of which, I need to go back on TikTok and upload some of that crud. See, but now you guys, now you guys know that you can just get rid of my ability to make clips by laughing at stuff that's not funny constantly, and then I'll, it will be a useless thing for me to be able to. You can single-handedly, you single-handedly have the power. To stop me from growing my channel. Ba 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 da. Oh, hey there. Ow! Yikes! Get, get away! Hey, what do we have for kills? For like a third or something. Math, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I very much am. How you doing, wild potatoes? Yo, I just saw a clip today of a streamer. I'm, I'm bringing this up because you're here, wild potatoes, and you reminded me. I just saw a clip. Ow. Uh, of a streamer that accidentally linked their bounties list. Um, if you guys don't know what Twitch bounties are, basically they are um, open offers for sponsorships you can just take and do. Like you can accept, do it, and then you get paid an amount if you're like a, uh, a part, a big partnered streamer. And basically they have rules of like you need a certain amount of viewership to qualify. This guy accidentally linked it. I'm not going to say who it is or whatever. But, um... It was like, holy crap! Genshin Impact! One of the bounties was play Genshin Impact for one hour. Get paid over $7,000 American. There were others that were watch a one-minute ad and make over $1,000 for doing this. Oh my god! That is... That is incredible. That is incredible. Yeah, I mean, you have to you have to advertise that you're sponsored. Like, I don't think it's unethical, but it's like it's like holy crap, that's crazy. That's a crazy amount of money. Hmm. Hey, the streamer who leaked it is actually one of my favorite streamers. I love that streamer a lot. Really funny guy. Hey, is there a Mancubus on this side too? Aww. I should probably get rid of that guy, because that'll be a problem. Ow. Dang it.
There we go. Ow! Did you did you get me? Go away. Hmm. Wait, I'm hurt. I'm a hurt. I am hurting for a TOS rhyme joke. Okay. Where is my health? I'll take that. Yoink. Guys, morph me into a uh, into a family friendly streamer. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Oh, no, well, nice seeing you. Uh, I hope you have a good rest. Take care. Always good to see you. You do not let your kid watch this. Yeah, that is a good call. Are you calling me a nobody? Huh? I'm just kidding. Have you been playing Genshin? How is that going now? I haven't played it since, like... I stopped playing while Inazuma was still a thing. Was still, like, the point. Hey, Emily! How's it going? Okay, where are we going? Are we just heading down? Are we heading down? Huh. Okay. That was a bad strafe. Okay. It's beautiful. Uh-oh. Okay. Go away. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Straight text magic. Oh, right, 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 right. Wait, you started a new character that you weren't playing yesterday? What were you playing yesterday again? I seem to recall it was a character you didn't like. It wasn't bleed. It was something else. Well, son of a parent. Okay, should I just go down? What's down here? Let's just see. Whoa! Look who looky here. Eh. Eh. I found a secret. Yikes. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Yesterday you were playing a strength character so you could Oh right. Right, you're playing as the stun guy. Anything down here? No. Okay, take care, well potatoes. Is that my first death of this level? I think so. I think so. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to do something and did not do well. Did not do well! You know the one thing I've been really surprised about though? I've been really surprised by how not annoying the Doom community has been. I thought the Doom community would have certain things, like the, um... Cause I find the Doom community sometimes has certain reputations. Um, kind of like the Dark Souls community is often like, 
Wow, you did. You went strength. You're supposed to roll. You can't even play. It's just like, whoa, dude, chill out. I'm just playing a game. The Doom community, from what I've experienced so far, has just been like really cool. No! Is there a full cast faith build? You got a creepy golden mask and you do like 800 damage. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Have you done that one that everyone was doing early, um, uh, early Elden Ring? Where they have that weapon where it just like shoots a big old blue laser and just like shreds bosses? No! 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 Wait, is there no path up? Oh, there. Wait, what? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe. I don't know. I don't know that. I haven't played Elden Ring. I'm saying yes. I actually have no idea. But it was like memed everywhere. Like you could just like. Sh I think you could shred the last boss. You would just like spam, like hold this attack, and a big blue beam would just shoot straight that you could hold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, you want to know how powerful it was when the game was out for like two days? You shot it now, but it's nerfed. Oh, really? Um, yeah, so the thing, like, for some reason, I would have expected Doom, because Doom is a little bit niche, um, and it's old, and so I think a lot of the fans are, are people that would be, like, you know, have, be really long-time fans, so I would have expected them to be a bit more, like, rigid in how they feel like you're supposed to play, and, you know, the fact that I'm using so many, like, ooh, kind of modernized source ports playing playing with in co-op monsters enabled kind of that stuff i thought i would i thought i would see a lot more like upset people but it's actually it seems like it's mo most of the population that at least the population that has found me seems is very like it's a fun game i'm glad to see people enjoy a game that that i'm passionate about which i like to see Yeah, like, I'm very, like, play the game however you want, like. I would get it if I were, like, I'm the best Doom player. Take that to Xeno. Meanwhile, I'm, like, dying in levels. Like, I would get it if I had some arrogance about it. But people just, people seem to chill. Yeah, that's one thing that I feel like, um... I feel like new newer games are missing out on a lot. Is I feel like a lot of older games were kind in terms of like like things like, you know, we have cheat codes because it's it's fundamentally it's about having fun giving you options that you'll enjoy. Whereas game I think I personally I could be wrong. My guess would be it's achievements that change this. Where where if you if you want to have achievements that mean something, you have to have, um, you want to have have a standard that you can't just exploit your way through. But uh, I feel like there was a cost to that. And medieval didn't care. I just feel like if they want to have achievements, then they should have they should have like cheat codes and stuff like that but then disable the ch the achievements the moment you you enable those things and it's like problem solved but i'm getting low on ammo have i left like a bunch of shoddy ammo anywhere cuz i'm getting low You don't care about achievements. Uh, be like the Lego games where you can still unlock cheat codes and stuff. Yeah, the, uh, the Lego games, I, I have actually wanted to play those on stream. Um, at least some of them. I think those would be fun multiplayer games. I don't know how fun they would be to watch, but they're fun to play. Mm. 
Did I leave any shoddy ammo? Is there maybe a secret I can jump to? Yeah, I mean, that's something that we've literally talked about. Um, I wonder if there's something there. The only reason we haven't is because um, I don't want to leave so many loose end games. Ah, no, I saw stuff there. There is stuff there. Like, we haven't we haven't finished Super Bunny Man. We haven't finished um, Dead Island. We And I think there's other things we haven't. I think there's something else we haven't finished. We haven't finished Power Wash. So we have three games that are unfinished. Okay. Nice. You love watching Lego games because they can be the most casual, the most anger-inducing gameplay, really? What What is your... What do you think the... Oh, shoddy ammo. What do you think the best... Uh, what's your favorite Lego game? Not including the GOAT, Lego Island, starring Pepper. And uh, what was it called? The Brickster or something like that? What was his name? The Brickler, the Bricks... What was his name? <laughs> Lego Island. Because Lego Island was the game I had as a kid. But it's also a different formula. It does, it's not the same formula as uh, as the modern Lego games. Like the post... Uh, what is it? Post Lego Indiana Jones games? Was Lego Indiana Jones the first one? With that like current formula? Okay, I don't see any. Whatever, we'll move on. I wonder if there's any stuff in the... Oh, well, whatever. Whatever. What? We have a lot of rockets. Let's use some rockets. Um... <laughs> Best Lego game what has to be Lego Star Wars or Lego Harry Potter. Those two offer the most. I really want to get that um Leg uh, Skywalker Saga. But it's just, you know, because it's so new and so big, it's, it's more expensive. I do own the Harry Potter ones, and I have wanted to play those. Um... I actually own a lot of those Lego games. I've been curious. There's certain things like there's like the Lego movie, but I've never seen the Lego movie. I've heard the Lego movie is really good, though. I used to, um, as a kid, um, I used to get like really obsessive with certain things. Like, uh, like I used to be obsessive about strategy guys. Oh, how did you like it? Uh, like I used to, I used to read strategy guides like novels, and I, I would carry them with me, and I would just like, even for, I would have strategy guides for even games I didn't own. Like I had the strategy guide for Final Fantasy five and six, and I didn't own that game. And I would just like, play, read this book, and imagine what it was like to be in this city. Um, and another thing I had was I had a subscription to Lego Magazine. It's funny because you're paying for a magazine. And really, you're just looking at ads. Like, it, it's crazy. It's crazy. They sell this magazine to kids. And it's really just ads. But it was my... I, I didn't even own much Lego. I owned a little bit. I owned... Um, I forget what it was called. It was pre-Bionicle, I think. But it was similar to Bionicle. They had, like, these discs that they would throw. It was similar. They're like these robots. But, like, I would read these magazines that just had pictures of the sets. And I would just imagine them. Uh, your only complaint is that it's more based on open world. Uh, uh, as you thought the levels itself were super short. Oh, for Skywalker Saga? Yeah, like I own the Batman ones. I own the Marvel superheroes ones. I, I own like a lot. I think I own Indiana Jones, The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings. Whoa, what was that? I haven't killed you yet? There we go. I'm not sure which one... I would play. Like... Clearly, there's certain things... Like, I, I don't know. I love this setting. There's something... Uh, I was gonna say something really magical. The ir and the... Uh, but this would have been a pun. And then Tech Rock would have stood up and clapped. And I don't want to give him that. I was gonna say, there's something really magical about the setting of Harry Potter. Um, I know that it, I know that it's like, now... I could, I, I, I know there's a lot of people in my community at this point. 
That would ha probably have a problem if I played it, to be honest. Um, just because of JK Rowling. But something about the setting itself, I don't know. Like, I always love animes or whatever that have that boarding school setting where you're like, you're, you know, away from home and you're kind of in this new world. There's something about that setting I really like. Go for puns. Listen, I, I love puns, but you are like, you're like Pun Slayer 69, you know? Like sometimes you'll pull out puns that I do not see coming. And, and, and you'll pull, you'll, you'll have like the most intellectual ass puns where I, 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 I like, I pull out my abacus and I'm like, oh my God. Like, like I'm looking at like the alignment of the stars. I'm like, oh shit, wait, wait, is Mercury retrograde? I get it. And then it's, it's one of those moments that I'm like, okay. Okay, get your, cure your thirst. I feel like O is the best vowel in terms of replacing words with that vowel, you know? I feel like replacing... And the second best? Yeah, hungry, right? Like, the second best vowel for that is probably U. But I think O is the funny one. O is the funny vowel. <laughs> That's true. I, I think I think people hate on lowbrow, but I you you need there's a certain way you can approach lowbrow that I have so much respect for. You know, every once in a while you need to just reach down as far as you can and just you know. Uh oh, that wasn't a trigger. Yeah, me too. Me too. Me too. Like, the reason I like ICA... Listen, listen, no one likes explaining comedy. But the reason I like ICA, number one, is I like it because I get people in chat like Simon, that dot dot dot, and they're just like, oh my god. Like, they're like... Like, some, sometimes seeing someone's disgust fills me with happiness. I, I don't... I know this is not a healthy... Um... A healthy trait, but sometimes seeing people's disgust feels me more. But the other aspect is I find something funny about taking something absurd, but at treating it super seriously and like intellectually and like, like that's why, like I used to watch or listen to a little bit of a podcast called Nerd Poker. And, uh, you know, it was a bunch of comedians playing D and D. But the guy that was always the funniest was the guy who wasn't all like, Whoa, 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 butt cheeks. But it was a guy who was like, take, having an absurd character, but taking it super seriously. You know, just being super like, super dark. I'll never see the world again. You know, <laughs> I, I walk every day, walk through every day as if I'm wearing sunglasses. Now that the, my view of the world has darkened so much. There's something about taking it super seriously that, that committing to something in a in a way as if I don't know. I I, I appreciate it. I didn't mean to fall. There we go. Wow. Nice. Nice. That went pretty well, I would say. I made a mistake and it paid off. Okay, we have the blue key now, right? The blue key. B-L-O-O-K-Y. 
B L O. Okay, why? Wait, that was a red key. Dang it! Ooh, a secret. I don't even know what I got. But it's probably amazing. Ooh, shells. I will take that. Okay. Ooh, ooh! Re I remember this! I remember! I was expecting a revenant behind here just like chilling. I remember. I remember. The bird of Pachado Spamba. Look at that chain gunner. Ow! Okay. I'm gonna actually have to deal with that dude. Do you remember? The scooby dee boo ba doo -bee dee dee Ooh, we're getting there with kills. Uh-oh, something's happening. Archvile face, I don't trust you. I don't trust you one Stinking bit. So did you guys like get res? What happened? I thought I killed you. Maybe I killed you on a different bridge. Oh, I killed. Wait, is this just a shortcut? Wait, what? Is this? Okay, I just got out of there. Wait, was this? Oh, never mind. I was about to say something so dumb. Uh, you would be the butt to use a secret area and have nothing in it. Oh. Oh. That sh that didn't show me where the secrets are. Okay, what now? What now? What did I do? What hath changed? And clearly it's probably not here. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. I doubt it's back here, but this is a small area to check, so let's just get it over with. I died on this level, right? I'm pretty sure I did. I can't remember what happened, but I'm... Oh, yeah, I am almost positive I died. Oh, look where we are. Oh, there we go. Mm. We go. Wait, why did that guy die so fast? <laughs> uh, in, in the actual official Doom games, there's some areas where they mistagged secrets. And so you'll be do a level and there's like 17 secrets, but they accidentally tagged each step as a different secret sector. Because they clearly placed a step, made it a secret, and they're like, oh, we need to make a staircase, and they copy and pasted this step. So like 17 of the 20 secrets are like, secret, 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 secret. Like it just keeps revealing secrets super quickly. In official Doom games. I think I, that was in, um, that was definitely in... That was in Plutonia, and it was also in, um, what's it called? Ultimate Doom Episode 4, Thy Flesh Consumed. And there's also secrets that you can't get. No! Oh, shoot, I fucked up! Holy crap! Oh, God, I almost killed myself there. Holy crap, I'm so dumb. Thank God. So, if you guys don't know, Archviles are very, very dangerous to attack when they're infighting. Because they can attack an enemy, but then if you hit them the, and the aggro goes on you, 
Um, they will they will do their charge up an enemy and then they'll turn around and instantly blast you. I almost killed myself there by attacking the arch file while he was attacking someone else. Holy crud. That was super risky. My god, what's gonna happen here? Oh my god, I was so dumb. Hey, I want that. Give it to me. Give it to me, baby. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Huh. I think I heard bad guys. Anyone here? Oh, that's the exit. What? Fugged? Fugged? What? The chapel. I think this is it. Oh no! Ah, uh, corpses! You know what? Everyone knows what corpses mean in, in Doom, right? Corpses means arch vials. It's a way that they're like, hey, look, all these enemies are dead. We're creating tone. And then they release the arch vial, and boom, enemy count has popped up. I'm not going to get that. There's a lot of enemies. This is the last level, though. This is the last level of... Whoa, that was new. Double cyber demon. Where's the hit scanner? I still have high- wait, my backpack didn't go away? It didn't lower my ammo? Was I wrong about that? So, another- Wait, what happened? Wait, why is the- Where's the cyber demon? Oh, okay, so there's a guy over there. Oh, he teleported away. Bad place. Dang it, I, I wanted them to infight, but I couldn't get them to infight. Shit. My bad. There we go. Okay. Oh, Cyber Demon dead. I'm doing super poorly all of a sudden. God dang. Moo! Cyber Demon dead. Hey, Cyber Demon 2. Ah, 
Ah, oh, he got me. This is my death level. Hey, what are we doing? Hello. What are you doing? What are you doing? Do you not exist yet? Whoa! 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 Good dang it, I got hit by the Revenant. God dang it. This is like baby trying to learn how to infight. Baby's first slaughter map. Come on, guys. Jesus. Ow. I'm like dead. Oh, plasma. Oh, yikes, 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 yikes. Oh, dang it. Okay, what do we want to do? Oh, bop, 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 bop. Dang it. Come on! Spider Mastermind! Please attack me! Okay, come on. Dang it! I didn't get a hit. Okay, I'm, I'm not getting this infight happening. It's just not happening. There we go. Bop, 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 ba -da bop. And we've done barely any kills. Hello? Anyone else? Oh, I see a BFG. Okay. Bop. Bop, 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 bop. Bop, bop, bop. What happens? What happens? Eh. Ooh. So I have a feeling, are these ladders, do the, is the way it works? Are these actually stairs? It looks, doesn't look like stairs. Oh, it is. It is. They're very, very close stairs. Okay, there's there's a red key. Oh, hey, guys. I should have kept the dude alive. Yikes! Well, that happened. And you're not alive yet. It's the chain gunners that are scary right now.
Go away. Okay. What what else is going on here? I got those. How am I doing for cells? We're doing. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to get both. I meant to just get one, but inertia, you know. Oh, wrong room. That was a waste. Dang it! I got stuck. I couldn't get through the door. Okay, I'm just, I'm just a suicide bomber right now, apparently. Well, I didn't really... How much damage do Mancubite do to unarmored? Okay. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait. Do I see... Why am I looking over? That's not how computer screens work. Oh my god. I'm trying to peer over a thing. Okay, nice to meet you. I'm gonna die in one hit from a hit scanner. Probably. Any help? Whatever. Whatever, let's just face our reckoning. Okay, I don't want I don't want to have that zombie man death. There we go. I I, I like Mancubi a lot. I, I don't know why this. There's something about them. I don't know. They add. They're the way that they're dangerous is. Ooh yes. The way that they're dangerous is different from the other guys. I think they just. They're kind of like the creators of chaos. They just like. They're like the bullet hell monsters, right? You add a few of them. Uh oh. Archvile win. There we go. Which of these is gonna have an archvile? None. Okay, this is just a, a good, a good, fun, happy place. Pop to pop, ba dee dee. Oh, you know what? Oh my god! Holy bananas! B E N A N A S! Dang it! No! What is wrong with me? What is wrong? I thought it was done! Oh my god. Look, I'm like, I'm not the worst Doom player, actually. BAM! Maybe I am. Okay. No, I almost did the same thing. I almost did the same thing I bitched about earlier that I was doing.
Okay. Ow. Let's get a berserk. Let's get a, a thing. Okay, get rid of that sepia tint. I don't need that shit. Okay. What's in here? There we go. I hear an imp. Okay. I'm sure this isn't going to be bad. There we go. Okay. Dark room. Whoa, that's cool. Hmm. Ba dum ba dee dum. Ba bum ba dee dum. I'll get that. One, two, three. And you're still sleeping, aren't you? I hear demons back there. Um, but I, I like this for a last level. Like, I'm, I'm doing poorly, but I think this is a, uh, a good last level. Okay, maybe I should get rid of something like... Uh, who knows? Who knows? Okay. Oh, God. Oh, oh, I remember this room. Wait, this is a secret? What? Now I can see this. Wait, what? Oh. How is this a secret? Oh, you son of a bitch. Wrong weapon! Damn it! That's what. This is why I, I'm so bad at blindly hitting like seven. Oh my god. Jesus Christ! That miss and then hit on someone else unanticipated was pretty fun. Hey. Hey, you. I see what you're trying to do there, okay? I know I'm gonna kill myself with splash damage. It's just, it's just gonna happen, okay? We know it's going to happen. We've seen me play enough Doom. Get out of here. Bali. Wait, what? Okay. Okay, we have a hit scanner hell over here. Not good. Die! No! That guy still hasn't woken up. Okay, you know what? We go. Got those rockets. This is a fun level, though. 
I support it. Look at that guy. I didn't know Kako demons could twerk. My god. Freaking voyeur Kako demons. Hey, what you wearing in there? Ha 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 ha. Oh, I was just uh, out watering my plants. Looking good. Okay. Let's get out of here. But, uh, what killed me? Probably a cackling demon from, like, up high. We gotta get rid of the revenant, because revenants are my bane. That one's going, like, fucking sailing away. Okay, go away. Okay, let's see what's going on over here. Anything? Did I hear an archvile? There we go. Got rid of that guy's 2D ass. Okay. Okay, we're getting there. Now... Cedric is going to wake up. We know it's happening soon. Wait, how, did we ever figure out how to get in there? Hmm. There's something there. How do we open that up? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Oh well, I would love to enter. Okay, what do we have to have to do now? We have about a hundred foes ish. Okay, where to? We just got the yellow key. Where is the yellow key door? Or switch? Oh. Where could it possibly be? There's chain gunners that are annoying right now. Get out of here. Papanata. Okay. Oh, did I get all the rockets? Maybe I should stop being so careless with them now. How are my cells? High. Well, medium. Ooh. Okay, let's go over here. Let's try. There we go. I'll grab that. Heck, I'll grab that. Why not? Did I just see what I thought I saw? No. I'm cray cray. Let's go. Ah! I wonder if there's a secret there. Bam! No, you don't need to apologize! Emily! 
Did you you were one of the most watching me people on all of all of Twitch? You know that? Okay. Mm. Tech Rock, listen, I accept your apology. I was wondering when you would apologize, but I accept it. Oh, I bet you the cyber demon woke up. Oh, I should have let it fight, but whatever. Oh, no! not dead there we go holy crispy cream oh yeah then I should be the one apologizing to you Emily <laughs> I'm so sorry oh we know it's gonna happen Oh, I was like, I'm doing so well. Look at me destroying this. <sighs> the pain. <laughs> Dang it, I still haven't gotten it. Okay, screw it. I suck with the BFG, even though I put it at the number one. On the, my list. I suck with the BFG! There we go. It is, it is, BFG is the hardest weapon in the game. You are incorrect. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Maximizing the BFGs is really tough because the way it works is the projectile does very... It doesn't do very little damage. The projectile does de decent damage, but the moment the projectile detonates... You basically shoot an in, invisible um, cone, I think in like 90 degree angle of like 40 tracers. And that's where most of the damage comes from. So whenever the green blob detonates, you wanna be you wanna be in an area that most of the tracers hit. Yeah, yeah, I mean, every weapon you shoot by hitting. So I, I was trying to like get up close to the cyber demon and just get up because you can two shot a cyber demon with a bfg and you can one shot an arch vial and clearly i didn't do well considering i took like four hits on that dude okay that 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 we're almost we're almost done though we're almost done popping out it Archvile? Archie? There we go. There we go. Your most used emote is that. It's like 200. And the next one is an Elden Ring one. Oh my god. Hey! Wait, what? Oh, did I die? Oh, I probably died here from the Cyber Demon. And then the floor lowered. Oh, I see. There we go! 
Doomer Boards project number three, Forest Swords. I like that one. Um, yeah, I like that. Uh, so far, all of the first three were similar in quality, I think. Uh, I think the first one was the most consistent. I think the first one was the most consistent, but, uh, uh, but I've enjoyed all of them. I like... The first one had the least interesting theme to me, but from level design, I thought it was quite solid. Uh, so the next one... The next one that we're going to play is going to be the Xenomorph base. Um, looking at the time, I, I was I was thinking of if I should do both in a row or if I should do one and then the other. Um, or like the other one later. I think that's what I'm going to do because I would rather have each of these Doomer Boards projects being um, one upload. I don't want to split up an upload. And Xenomorph Project's a bit of a smaller one. Actually, the next two are a bit smaller. So I might be able to play through two coming up. Yep, next one is Xenomorph base. So... Thanks for hanging out, guys. Uh, let's see. Do we have anyone who is online that I know? Oh, I, I, I want to sort from high to low. And that way I can scroll down rather than having a list that is all... all ooh, I see someone who I would like to raid. Ooh, I see a few people I could raid. Ooh, gosh, there's a bunch of options. But let's go say hi to someone that we actually brought up today, I think. Wait, did we bring them up? Maybe I just thought about them. I talked about them the other day. A really, really entertaining streamer. Bam, Clammy Games. I'm sure a lot of you guys know. Actually, I met him through Falmouth Scott, who we saw in chat earlier as So I Play Games. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining me. I will be back later. Mwah. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.